jewel theft in less than 24 hours. And my gut says this is just the beginning. I've got to hide all my bling bling. I heard the thief left no clues. My dangly chandelier earrings with the pretty crystals. And could strike again at any time. And my lucky charm bracelet with the silver skateboard and 14 karat gold angel. The hotel is offering a $10,000 award for the jewels returned. And my rhinestone toe ring and... $10,000?! Guys, we have a case to crack. Suspect numero uno, Damon. Self-described billionaire playboy is into fast boats, fine foods, and revolting women. Ew! Damon was hanging near the crime site when the theft occurred. Anyone warped enough to hook up with Verdine is warped enough to steal. He's mine. Suspect two, Nigel Forrester, ninth Duke of Lessex. Oh, what did I ever see in him? I'd like to know the answer to that question. Recently bankrupt Royal needs cashola and therefore has a motivation. And besides, we don't like him. Uh, let me at him. Byron Powell, reality show whiz kid, closet jewel thief, or both. Also in the vicinity at the time of the crime. Dylan, your brain is so fried. Byron would so never do such a thing, and I'll prove it. Suspect number four, Gertrude, the hotel masseuse with the gentle touch of a forklift. You know, she's probably got room access, and I did not like the way she was checking out my bling when I was getting a massage. People, she's mine. Your mission, guys, since you've decided to accept it, is to catch the jewel thief red-handed. Should you be captured or killed, I will disavow any knowledge of your existence and get first dibs on your CDs. Goodbye, Dylan! I can't believe Verdine is, like, making us work. I know. You'd think with all her money, she'd be, like, able to hire someone to do our work for us. <gasps> Maybe she's, like, secretly broke because practically no one reads Your Thing magazine. <laughs> and she, like, already spent all of her savings on those ugly pink pumps and bad plastic surgery. Yeah! She's probably the one who's been stealing all the jewelry so she can pay for another facelift. Yeah! yeah. We should, like, turn her in and collect back $10,000! We can call it K after Kirsty. No, my name, K after Casey. Wait, we're like gonna have to get proof. But like, how? Yeah, we're on the case to investigate. Each and every one Before the day is done No one's gonna get away Once you know we're on the case We right the wrong Never gonna stop until the culprit is caught Suspicious eyes What are they trying to hide? We're gonna get to the get truth, to the truth Because we always do
you're sure it was Byron? Yes, although I can hardly believe it either. There's got to be an explanation. So let's just ask him. No way! If he isn't the thief, we offend him. If he is, we tip him off we're on to him. I say we search his room for definite proof. And if we find the diamonds? Then we have no other choice but to turn him in. Byron, there you are. May we join you? Please! Well, actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry. This will just take a sec. See, Chloe has this awesome idea for a reality show. The two-in-one miracle stick. It pushes back cuticles and opens hotel doors. Let's get moving before Byron gets back. Hotel safe's open. Nothing's in it. Wait, wait, I've got another idea. It's called Extreme Truth or Dare. You dare someone to go on a blind date wearing bright green polyester. Ugh, Chloe, that's so cruel. Then the guy turns up in an orange kilt. See, he's in on the gag. Ow! There's something in here. <sighs> then how about this one? You leave six girls stranded in a mall with just one credit card between them. Chloe, your ideas are absolutely, positively the worst for TV shows I've ever heard. Now, if you'll excuse me... But wait! Chloe, please, show some mercy. Guys, you're on. Let's do it. This bracelet must be worth a fortune. This is so not looking good for our man. Hey, Yaz. Got it. Iron's on his way back. Come on, let's go. Huh? Huh? <laughs> what do you say? A reality show called Hotel Football, huh? No, no, no! Now out of my way! <laughs> Insufferable frat boys! I order you to cease and desist this instant! Okay, so American football's not your thing. Um, how about... Look, I've absolutely, positively had it with you and your cohort's ridiculous ideas! Would you please leave the ideas to the professionals? And speaking of leaving, would you delinquents kindly exit my room and leave me be? Dude, why didn't you say so? Come on, Cameron. Let's go. Jade and Sasha aren't in there. Oh, what a relief. We're gonna get something to eat. Catch you guys later. What are you doing? Trying to listen in on Byron's phone conversation. Everything is going just as planned. Wait, let me write this down. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think so, too. This is going to be our biggest hit yet. So we're gonna go check it out. Later. I wonder where Jade and Sasha are. Byron, you are unmistakably, breathtakingly dashing. Oh, I thought he'd never leave. Oh, forgot my... <gasps> ah! We are so busted. Chop chop with my new tiara. Damon's going to be here in two hours for our date, and I'm not even half ready yet. So, um, Berdine, like, you know when those jewel thefts occurred? Like, where were you? Hmm, let's see. I believe I was having my mustache wax. Wait, what 
Business is it of yours. Shine! Shine! Guilty with a capital Q. So, like, how long are you gonna be out tonight? Let's see. Dinner, dancing, marriage proposal. Wait. Why are you asking me all these interminable questions? Because we, like, need to know how long you're gonna be. <clears throat> no reason! What if that bear comes back? I think he's still mad at me for plucking his whisker during the survival competition. Don't worry. I'll tempt him away with my honey face mask. Worked a few days ago. It'll work again. Oh, my gosh! Hmm. My guess is it doesn't belong to the bear. Diamonds! Hello, girls. <gasps> May I help you? <laughs> Funny, you don't look like room service. And you don't look like a jewel thief, but looks are so deceiving. Have you absolutely positively lost your senses? Yasmin saw you swipe a diamond necklace from a hotel room. Oh, that. <laughs> I can explain. I have a new reality show, To Catch a Thief, and I've come to capture world-renowned jewel thief Damon Van Doren. Damon? What Yasmin saw was me replacing real diamonds with fakes. If Damon suddenly skips town, I could be in trouble for letting him escape with the actual jewels. Right. And you just happen to carry around fakes good enough to fool Damon and the victims. No way this is fake. Wrong. I had it made last week. The possible victims were happy to let my staff copy their pieces in exchange for the once-in-a-lifetime chance to appear on my new television show. Ah, <sighs> people are such attention freaks. So, would you girls be interested in helping me catch a thief? <gasps> will we be on your show? All right, girls. This should keep you until I return from my date. Now remember, one move and you'll set off the motion detector, which will in turn release the arrow latch. But what if I have hiccups? Well, then your little friend gets heartburn like she's never had before. Ciao, ladies. Oh, pretty princess, this is the end. We'll never see Bunny Boo or Cool Cat again or go to our senior prom or graduate or return that DVD and the late fines will go through the roof and my parents Colin, will- calm down. You'll move and set off the motion detector. Now, come on, we've got to figure a way out of here. Right, right. Oh, if only we were wearing arrowproof vests, although they'd probably be really tacky looking. Chloe, that's it! Tacky looking arrowproof vests? No, my necklace. The silver medallion is like armor. If I can get it over my heart without setting off the motion detector, we can trigger the arrow and get out of here. So, tell me more about you. Well, I had a very rough childhood. My father was sick. Depressing! Tell me more about your houses. Well, my villa in Italy. They just sat down. Come on, let's search the room for the jewels. Yeah. People, I'm worried. Chloe and Yasmin don't just disappear. They're not at the pool, but if you're looking for Damon, he's at the restaurant with Burdine. At least they're getting what they both deserve. Jay, let's tell Damon. If he has anything to do with Chloe and Yasmin's disappearance, he'll lead us to them. Girls, Damon is dangerous and more than likely armed. Are you sure you're up to it? Totally. Okay, then. I'll stake out Badine's room in case the gruesome twosome returns. Dylan, Cam, keep searching the hotel for Yasmin and Chloe. Got it. Well, my, is that Donald Trump? Where? <laughs> Oops, I was wrong. My mistake. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. How many bank accounts do you have? Offshore or onshore? Oh, is that your dime? Yes! Look, it's Royale! <gasps> my baby! He's supposed to be with my good-for-nothing interns! <gasps> Come on, we've got to find him. Oh, if one hair on his precious little head is hurt, I'll have those insufferable girls hung by their toenails! Well, on second thought, it wasn't Royale. It was a puddle. I mean, a poodle. Please, sugar, sit down. Enjoy your coffee. You must be mad! I only drink non-fat half soy decaf cappuccino. Waiter! Get over here at once and remove the 
the sludge. Ugh, hurry up! You weigh like a ton. Do you see any jewelry? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. Hello? Oh, thanks a lot, Casey. I missed like a really important call. In her car. Yeah! Verdine and Damon must have already left. Oops, forgot to turn my cell phone back on. Hey, there's a message. It's from Chloe. They're checking out the camping area. Let's go! trunk again. Uh, Casey, why are the trees moving? May I invite you in to show you my astonishing collection of pink pumps? Well, I thought you'd never ask. Ah! Mother of pink! I've been robbed! <laughs> My one-way ticket to the retirement planet of the filthy rich. Damon, isn't it? Just the man I wanted to see. Actually, now is not a good time. Uh, why, that looks just like... Oh! <laughs> Let's see building maintenance get him out of this. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, Yaz, are you sure this is going to work? We have no choice. One, two, three! Crow Magnon. <gasps> oh, my rhinestone tiara! It's gone! You stole it! Give it back, you thief! I didn't touch it! Liar! Give it back! Give it back! Give it back! Wow! $10,000 for catching Damon! And all we had to do was risk our lives! Girls, once again I commemorate you on a job well done. What are you gonna do with the reward money? Buy some diamonds. Not, Not funny. funny. Actually, we're going to donate our reward money to the Q Hotel Wilderness Program for City Kids. Excellent. Oh, oh my 
my precious, precious. Oh no, it's the abominable pig woman. Cheerio. <laughs> May your heart never break like mine. Mother of pink, my car. What happened to my car? No one leaves this hotel until I get an answer. <laughs> Mystery solved. Damon did 15 to 20, Burdine discovered that love hurts, and the girls with a passion for fashion got a great cover story for our magazine, How to Catch a Thief in Style. My leopard platforms have just got to be in here somewhere or I'll die! Angel, the nice girls? Ew! What can I say? I was young and impressionable. <gasps> oh my gosh, Cinderella, I love this book! Oh, me too. It totally changed my life. Remember the first time we heard the story? What's that? A cool new book, Cinderella! Once upon a time, there was a pretty princess named Cinderella. She lived in the far, faraway land of Fashionista, where hip, cool creativity reigned supreme. Cinderella lived with her father, Sir Chachi. Chachi was a super style and fashion designer, and he and Cinderella were very close. He loved her very much and called her his pretty princess. Then one day, Chachi met Burdina. He thought his pretty princess needed a role model, so he married her. <sighs> Big mistake. Little did he know that she was only after his money and fashion empire. Hand it over, Tubbo. And so, Burdina became the reigning queen of Chachi's world. She brought her two daughters, Christina and Casina, to live with them. Though she told everyone they were her little sisters to avoid any unfortunate age placement. Ew! Nasty! This design studio is, like, so icky-wicky. Did you, like, decorate it, Cinderella? <laughs> then one day, terrible tragedy struck. <laughs> Sir Chachi by feeding him too many carbs. After Chachi died, Burdina quickly took over his company. She redecorated his office throughout his rock and clothing lines and replaced them with bland pink suits. Burdina was very cruel to poor Cinderella. She never let her leave the studio except for school. She forced her to wear the same ugly pink outfit every day and made her sleep in the basement with only a pet rat to keep her company. But Cinderella dreamed of a better day. She was a singer-songwriter who wanted to be a rock star. She hoped that someday, somehow, her dream would come true. My dream come true. Stop that infernal rocket! And then one day, everything changed for Cinderella. I don't care if you hate it. I am Verdina Maxwella, the founder, president, and chief designer of Prissy in Pink Clothing and the reigning queen of fashion. Put that pink suit on your magazine cover or I'll pull my advertising and have you hung by your nostrils. Mother of pink! Now my shoe is scuffed. Cinderella! Get in here. Yes, stepmother. I need a new set of pumps and pronto. Go get them. You want me to go to the mall? You're like gonna let Cinderella outside? What, so she can like get arrested for public ugliness? <laughs> <laughs> well, what are you waiting for? Follow her and make sure she gets the right shade of pink. Chop, chop! Happy Cinders, I haven't been to a mall since my father was alive. No worries. Hey, who is that fine babe? Hey, pretty princess. Are you talking to me? 
Are there any other pretty princesses around? <laughs> no, it's just... That's what my father used to call me. Thanks, nice stranger guy. Etonian's the name. Cool. Hey, you've got some style and vocals going. Where do you rock out? <laughs> Let's just say I like to play at small, intimate places. To a small, select audience. Can I come see you play sometime? You want to see me play? Um, I don't think that's possible. You see, I'm kind of busy with work. Well, then I'll come after work. No, you don't get it. Uh. Oh, no, Bertina's shoes! Are you okay? I got a jam. But I didn't get your name. Uh, I'm Kirstina, hot stuff. I'm Casina. And I'm out of here. Poor Cinderella! So what happens next? Well, Etonian was crushing for Cinderella big time. I'm telling you, Cam Salat, this girl knows how to rock out. I gotta see her again. So what are you gonna do about it? I've called in the big guy. Hey, Lord Byron. <laughs> How's life as the biggest record producer in the land? Absolutely, positively riveting, Cam Salat. Now, son, what's this about granting a record deal? To all you aspiring rock stars out there, I am Lord Byron of Charming Records, and I'm in hot pursuit of the next raging sound. All aspiring singer-songwriters in search of their big break are invited to take the stage and rock out tomorrow night at our concert. The winner will be awarded a million-dollar contract with Charming Records and a meeting with our top producers. Make sure you get out all the toe jam. And watch out for my bunions. We'll see you at the concert hall. <laughs> Silence, piffling ninnies. I'm trying to work here. Put some elbow grease into the corns, you sniveling serpents. Yes, stepmother. But there's like this concert, and this big record producer is like offering a contract to the hottest new act, and, and anyone can like perform. <gasps> Mother of Pink. This is my chance. <gasps> you two go out and win that record contract. As your mother, I mean, sister and manager, I'll be rich and on every cover of every major magazine. I'll be a star. Are they really offering a record deal? What's it to you? It's not like they'd ever give one to a total failure face like you. Yeah. Get to work. You two have music to learn. And you, with the voice of a poorly trained seal, don't even think about entering. What about my dream? And then Cinderella was grounded for life? That is too sad! Rotting away in that cold, dark, damp basement on a diet of stale bread and unbottled water! Ew, nasty! Chill, babies! That's not how the story goes. So anyway, later that day, Cinderella was eating lunch in the school cafeteria. Yo, Cinderella, is it okay if we sit here? You, the girls with a passion for fashion want to sit here? I can't believe you're even talking to me. You know, I don't think I've ever seen you outside of school. Probably not, I don't get out much. Well, I hope you're getting out to enter the music contest. I heard you singing in the locker room once. You rain! Really? But my evil stepmother says I sing like a seal. <laughs> Yo, girl, you can't let someone else rule your life. Stick up for your rights. Find your passion and express it. Be true to yourself. Now sing.
Listen to me, you little sniveling snakes. I know dancing. Did I ever tell you about the time I was a top disco dancer for the International Hullabaloo Dance Club? No! Oh! Send her! <sighs> Hello. Ah! Cinderella! Um, tonight's the concert. I thought I'd go check it out. Uh, maybe... Well, there are several things that must be done before the show. Starting with beautifying my daughters. My real daughters. I mean, I mean sisters. Uh, sure, but I... No! Chup chup. Maybe you should, like, enter the contest, too. You really think so? <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Christina. Yeah, I can't believe you like that. I was serious. You're, like, such a loser. I bet they wouldn't even let you into the concert. Uh, yeah, they probably even have a sign-up. Like, no, like, losers allowed. When is Cinderella gonna deal with those nasty stepsisters? It was an hour before the big concert. Let's go, you little slime queens. I don't want to be late for my big break. Wait! Can't I come with you? I did everything you asked me to. <laughs> <laughs> like we would ever deign to be seen in public with you, Cinderella. Yeah! Now, make yourself useful and shine my pink pumps. Again. Come on, girls! We have a recording contract to win. <laughs> I should have listened to those girls at school. I should have stuck up for myself. Oh well, I guess it's too late now. The poor, poor thing! Poor Cinderella. I thought her life was so over. Don't just stand there! Let us in! What are you guys doing here? Someone has to teach you to be true to yourself. Cinderella, it's your time to shine. You're gonna blow them away at that contest. But I don't even have a guitar. You do now. Thanks, guys, but I still can't go to the concert and not dress like this. You're right, you can't. Which is why we hit them all. We bought you these. And these. You're hitting that stage in serious style. People, it's time for one extreme makeover. But remember, they are magic clothes. They will only last until midnight. Midnight, got it. It's not just your hair, your fellas you wear. It's not just the face you see in the mirror. To show who you are, you shine like a star. It's what's inside that counts. It's what's inside that counts. Coolness! Gorillalicious! Will the real Cinderella please step forward? Score! Guys, I don't know what to say. Way to get your butt to the ball. Pronto. But how? I don't have a car and... Leave that to me. Cinderella and her fashion fairy friends arrived at the concert hall. Let's go, pretty princess. This is your night. I can't walk the red carpet. I'm not famous. It's not about being famous. It's about working it. Sell it. Own it. My way, useless stagehand. Pardon me, you blithering windbag. <gasps> How dare you? Do you know who I am? I am Bertina. And do you know who I am? It's showtime! 
I want to dedicate this song to all the girls who have a dream. Check out the hottie. Oh man, that girl checked out like an angel. Let me know if you freak. If that stepdaughter, I mean sister of mine, isn't that the You lost her. No worries, because this time I'm gonna find her. Finish the story, Yasmin. Finish the story. And so Etonian went in search of his pretty princess. To the land of Fashionista. The winner of the record contract will be the girl who can rock out with a certain guitar left behind. I will personally search the land for this rockin' girl. Inside my heart, I've got a dream. Yeah, yeah! Inside my heart, inside my heart I've got a dream! Yeah! Inside, 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 inside! Whoa! Now, you scaly serpents are going to make this work or else. You're getting that contract and I'm getting famous off it. Got it? My nose! I've heard enough. Later. Wait, where are you going? I mean, we're just getting warmed up. Are there any other rockers in the house? I've got your shoes, Bertina. In fuchsia, peony, rose, and pink. Hey! Hey! Other rockers? No, 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 not at all. It's just me and my do little sisters. <laughs> I believe you need to finish your song. Don't be absurd! Cinderella can't sing. Yes, Verdina, I can, no matter what you think. you back to the cellar. Sorry, but from now on, I march to my own beat. <sighs> Don't listen to her. She's just the shop girl, a peon, a wretched little rat. Mother of pink. <laughs> Somebody lose something? Sing, Cinderella. I've got a dream. to the sunset in Etonian's rockin' convertible. And they lived happily ever after? Well, they did live happily ever after, but not together. Not together? Amberella, most beautitious and rockinest babe ever, will you go steady with me? <sighs> no. No? No? Look, it's not that you aren't the scorchingest guy I've ever met, because you are. It's just that I've got so many things I want to do with my life before taking on any major commitments. Like what? Well, I want to set up pet shelters across the country, go to college, and get my master's in environmental science. You hear a 
irrepressible incompetence! You destroyed my one chance at outrageous fame and fortune! Ugh, from now on, you're sleeping in the cellar! Volunteer for an international relief organization, record some CDs, and hang with my new best friends, the girls with a passion for fashion! So, we rediscovered our favorite childhood story and got a great Bratz Magazine article out of it. How to have a very rockin' life! Everybody